Hi, my name is uh, my name is Dor, and I'm a PhD student uh, at a place called the uh, the CRI, at the Center of Interdisciplinary Research, and I'm working on a project called No Nodes, which is basically a very simple way for any person to connect between uh, websites and share their knowledge and uh, explore what other people have uh, created and connected. Actually, a lot of people are using it for different uh, reasons. Uh, some people, uh, for example, if, if, if they're on a, a Wikipedia page that they see it's hard to understand, they can connect a tutorial to it. Um, researchers uh, use it to create uh, a thing called nanopublications, which is how they publish a specific scientific fact and make it known for, for the, the whole of the scientific community. Um, and we have a lot of people who are uh, just uh, students who use it to annotate uh, massive open uh, online courses. Uh, so they work together and build together uh, networks of knowledge. For us, for us, this is our next step, basically, because what we want to have is, is that, uh, that any citizen scientist would have an effective way to share his insights uh, with the rest of his community. So now no, this is basically a way to do that. So if you've made a, a discovery, whether it's a data, whether it's a learning resource, or, or it's just a, a crazy idea that you want to share with the community, you can just create a connection and share it with others, and they can react to it, they can vote on it, they can comment on it, they can evolve it. Well, I was scratching my own itch. I wanted to know what's going on in educational technology, like what's the state of the art. And I found myself for months uh, um, sitting in front of the computer, very frustrated, um, you know, trying to make sense of all, all these vast uh, amounts of information. And after a few months, I've created something, but nobody could really understand it. And I just realized that actually there's like, there's a lot of people who are, who are trying to make sense of things, but they don't really have a way to share it. Uh, in a, let's say, in a collective intelligence sort of way. Um, so, so I started to figure out what to do, and in the end, uh, no one came out. Basically, what what we're working on right now is is a, a concept called the P2P alliance, like a peer-to-peer -peer alliance. So, how can we, how can no nodes as a, as a, as a software that is open domain, you can find other partners, labs, schools, uh, uh, MOOCs, uh, open educational resources, uh, all sorts of partners that would like to um, adapt it to their own uh, specific use case. So basically, so I would say that what we want to achieve is that, is that labs would start to use it to manage their knowledge, that uh, students would use it as part of their courses, that citizen scientists would use it, and, and, um, and that they could adapt the system to their own needs. Well, uh, we're doing, basically we're doing uh, a workshop, which is uh, uh, where we're trying to collect, uh, we work together uh, to define what does open science mean to me. And we're using uh, several tools. So on one hand we use the popcorn, which is uh, another uh, uh, Mozilla tool to mix and mesh up uh, interactive videos. Uh, we're using uh, a tool called Symbol, which, uh, which gives people the ability to share their um, like basic assertions. And, and we use NoNodes to kind of connect everything together uh, to form this uh, uh, a collaborative map of concept that's related to, to open research so people could share it and evolve it uh, and on and on.